everybody. How are you tonight? Um, it is day 24 of 100, and we're on part three of this wardrobe that I'm calling Marie Antoinette. I was totally inspired by the colors of Marie Antoinette's room, home, Versailles, at Versailles. Um, I was bringing some of that inspiration home with the pinks and um, the blues, lots of pinks and blues, different shades. So just to catch you guys up, this piece started out with petticoat pink and cherry picked. Simultaneously applied base coat one, done. Yesterday we added water lily and made it all kind of funky looking, right? So we're layering the colors up. Um, the next one we're gonna do is coral. So get ready for that. We've got coral and kissing booth that we're gonna add tonight. So what I was just doing before I went live here was I was adding a little bit of clear wax in some random places because I don't want the paint to stick as well. So when I go back and I apply all my water and let some things do some things, some things, that didn't make any sense, um, I want to be able to pull that paint back all the way down. So I put some clear wax in literally the most random places all over this piece. Um, and so I was, um, so cowgirl coral and kissing booth are what I'm gonna start applying now to this crazy. Hey, Annette, I just saw your message. Calling me crazy. Did you say hello woman or hello crazy? Oh, hello woman. For some reason I saw crazy. For some, what, for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my dusty. And I think that's all I want. I think I'm gonna grab just my dusty. Okay, so I'm kind of looking at the, um, oh, hi, sugar. <laughs> um, I'm looking at these insets. Okay, so we're probably gonna have like eight to 10 colors, right? Could be more. So cowgirl coral is this color, in case you're not familiar with it. So good. So that was the main thing about Marie Antoinette's. Um, every shade of pink, and every shade of blue. So, I mean, that's what we've got to bust it out over here. Now we're gonna to have to end up with some, with some, um, probably some green and possibly some yellow as well. But our next step, part three, we're adding a cowgirl coral. I'm gonna also have my water bottle handy because I think it's time to add just a little bit of that. Like I said, I put clear wax in the most random places because that's something that's gonna, that we're gonna need later because I don't want the paint to stick. So you can see where it's real splotchy. It's because I put clear wax and um, that's, that's some good stuff. So this much, and I'm gonna kind of hit the insets here inside this trim. I'm gonna kind of highlight them with the cowgirl coral. So you're all gonna go, oh gosh, she's covering up that pretty pink purple color. Bear with me. Just bear with me. Just a little bit of water. Not so much water to where it starts dripping. Just a little bit. Okay, is there any, you know what guys? I've been having the worst time. How cold is it? It's like, got up to 34 today. Um, I'm gonna look and see. I'm, I'm supposed to be on the, um, I'm supposed to be on the DIY paint page right now doing What's Your Story Wednesday, but because Facebook has decided to not let me do a duel, um, I thought I would look to see if I'm able to pull any of you guys up right now, even though I know you don't want to come up with me. But, uh, and Instagram, I apologize. I'm actually hanging out over here on Facebook trying to figure out why Facebook has been so wonky the last week. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do this now. We're gonna grab some Kissing Booth here in a minute. Kissing Booth is a, is, a, is a really pretty deep pink fuchsia color. Okay, 
You see, I'm not covering it all the way. You see how it's still really sheer right there? And I'm gonna leave this top part with some of that purple. Nope, I have not, Annette. I've been Googling, I uninstalled the app. I've done every update I can. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to wait patiently for Facebook just to figure it out. That's what I'm thinking. I could probably go through Zoom too. I did that last night and it worked fine. Okay, so now it's looking really like, <sighs> nobody panic, don't. Now I'm gonna get some kissing booth. I'm gonna use the same brush. Nobody's looking at the top of my head. I bought Febreze today and one of those misting bottles. There's my painting bottle. Hi, hi, Tanya. Hi, hi. All right, kissing booth. See this color? Okay, so I'm gonna apply this in some random areas as well. Because again, we're still just layering colors. We're not actually getting our final look yet. That's when we can really start worrying about what it's gonna all look like, but these are the base coats. These are the layers underneath, okay? We are not allowed to panic here. Nobody gets to panic. Ooh, girl. If you're new here, my name is Dion Woods and I come here to paint and do furniture. And I promise it's a process to get to our desired look. Nope, no idea at all, Patricia. Mm -mm. No idea at all, you can't see it there. <laughs> That's so rude. That's so rude. I'm so sorry. Boop, boop. <gasps> Panic-free painting is a thing, absolutely. Nope. All caddy wampus. I feel like I need a little bit more down at the bottom. So now it just looks almost like a fun house, something, something, right? Now it just looks a whole lot of craziness. So before I let you guys go though, we're gonna bring in one more color as a surprise.
Anybody want to guess what it is? Not blue iris, not yet. Oh, there will be some. We're gonna bring back in some more of that petticoat. Okay. We're gonna bring back a little bit more of the petticoat pink, which is her light baby pink. The greens and the blues, they'll come, they'll come, I promise. Good, everybody there? Hello, how are you? Squeezed. Squeezed that out. Gonna do a little more up here. shadowing there. It's very, very subtle. And Guys, this is only part three, so keep in mind we are a long ways away from where we need to be. These are just steps. So one of the stories that was told um, when we were touring Marie Antoinette's room um, and at the Versailles and all around was, um, in her bedroom, there was the most enormous piece of furniture. And the tour guide was so enthusiastic, he was really clever and really funny. So the way he told the stories was good stuff. But we're looking at this enormous, beautiful piece of furniture that was considered, it, it was, you know, original, they said it was original to Marie Antoinette's. Um, so here's what they say. They're like, does anybody know, hi Gail. Um, does anybody know what that piece of furniture is? And I'm like, well, it's like this beautiful, ornate, gold, everything. And I mean, when I say it's enormous, it was probably twice the size of this enormous armoire. It was her jewelry box. Jewelry box. You can't really call it a box if it's enormous. Like, like here, I mean, there was no way. So that was where, that was what she stored her jewelry in. Um, so I was like, wow, um, it was something else. But um, okay, so this is after part three. So I really just wanted to spend some time highlighting the insets here between the trim here. Um, so we added in some cowgirl coral, we added in some kissing booth, and then we added back in just a little bit of petticoat pink 
to lighten it up, give it a little bit of texture. But we are nowhere near where we're going to end up. Trust me, it's a, it's a long process. It's not really long, um, but it's a big piece, so it's gonna take longer. Um, and I'm, I'm um, that sounds pretty similar. Yeah, I bet, I bet, Anissa. <laughs> she must have been, yeah, that must have been some jewelry. That's exactly right. So um, we were all like, oh, you know, when, the, when he says jewelry box, the room, the air, like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, but the colors in her bedding, there was lots of light blue and lots of baby pink. Now, I don't really want this piece to be all light blue and baby pink, so I'm trying to incorporate some of the other colors that I find attractive um, that I think will make the piece look a little more mature. However, DIY paint allows you to really layer colors. Um, the way that the clay base, the clay paint works, um, and to kind of, you can, you can um, wet distress and you can pull some of those undercoats up. So all of these colors, you're still going to see them in the final process, but we are definitely applying more and more color on top of it. Um, so right now you may look at it and say it looks like a fun house, looks like a little bit, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, nope, it's not necessary for you to see where it's going just yet, Derek. Um, but stick with me, trust me. Um, there were several pieces. We did a um, we did a really similar armoire to this over the summer as part of my um, carnival series, and um, it just kept getting better and better and better and better. So just be patient with your work. If you are in the midst of doing something like this, um, and you think, you know what? I uh, I don't I don't know. You get frustrated with yourself and think there's no way this is going to end well. Um, I encourage you just to stick with it. Just hang on and stick with it. And um, my guess is, thank you. The carnival series was quite something. So we want to do a more of a Monet series now and a Paris series. Um, I just encourage you to stick with it and um, trust your process. And just keep going, keep going. Okay, so you're going, I'm in for the journey. It always amazes me in the end. Thank you so much. So you guys, I'm gonna pop off of here. And um, thanks for hanging out with me. We'll be back tomorrow for day 25. As far as I can tell, I cannot pull up anybody. I still can't do a dual live. Um, as far as I can tell. And this, you want me to pull you up? Can I practice? <laughs> Are you still painting? Oh no, it says I can't pull you up anyway. Oh no, you're gone. No, no, you're still there. Um, yeah, so I don't know what Friday Night Live is going to look like. Because I still can't do it. Um, Valerie actually did the wax. I was telling everybody I did that before I came on. I just put the wax in some random areas so that the uh, paint wouldn't stick quite as well in just a few random areas. Um, but it's just clear wax. That was kind of the boring part. So I skipped that and did that alone. Thank you, BJ, for all the, the thumbs ups. I appreciate it. Thank the good Lord, you can't pull me up. Honey, you were just on. You were just on. I need to practice with someone. And Q said I could practice tonight with her and see if we could pull her up um, when I went live. But some something just came up, so she's not able to come on. Still no green buttons over here. So we'll be, we'll be streaming it through Zoom. You guys have an awesome night. I will see you back tomorrow. Good night. the little Instagrams. You know what? She was just on a few minutes ago painting her beautiful reindeer.